We are learning much more about a convicted serial killer now on Arizona's death row. Brian Patrick Miller, sentenced to death for the brutal killings of two young women in the early 90s. And now we're getting a look at the evidence from items collected at the scenes 30 years ago to journals authored by Miller 40 years ago. And we also hear from those who knew Miller as a teen. Fox 10's Nicole Garcia delves into the case of the Phoenix Canal killer. But first, we need to warn you, some of the images you're about to see are disturbing and graphic. I'm telling you, is your DNA is linked to both these women who were killed. Brian Patrick Miller sat in silence after being accused of murder for the first time. He repeatedly denied the charges during his 2015 police interrogation. How, how can you explain to me that your DNA is there? I can't. I can't remember everything I did back then, but I know I didn't kill anyone. But the evidence said otherwise. This was the scene in November 1992. Angela Brasso's decapitated and nude body was discovered by a passing bicyclist along the Arizona Canal. Her head was found 11 days later in the water. The postmortem report showed she'd been sexually assaulted. And this was the scene in September. 1993, Melanie Burness's body was found in the canal less than two miles away from where Angela was killed. Melanie's body was mutilated and carved. She was sexually assaulted as she was dying. DNA collected from both women linked them to the same killer. After more than two decades, police finally identified a match to their DNA evidence. It's your time to tell me what happened. I don't know what happened because I was. You have to know what happened. No. Your semen is there. That's the only, the only person that does know is you. Because that's the only way your semen could have been with these women. When Miller finally faced a judge seven years after his arrest, his defense was not guilty by reason of insanity. Mr. Miller doesn't know what happened those two evenings in 1990. He suffers from complex dissociative disorders. And those are trauma-based disorders. Miller suffered physical, emotional, and psychological abuse as a child. His mother, Ellen, was a detention officer with MCSO. His father died when he was very young. PTSD and sexual sadism are two disorders that Miller has been diagnosed with. Brian was like an unwanted guest in his own home. Ellen told me she was pissed off that her son lived and her husband died. I mean, a psycho mother. The young man that didn't have a chance to develop his uh, social skills or any skills, basically. As a teenager, Miller composed this, referred to as The Plan. It details the gruesome actions he would eventually carry out as an adult, including kidnapping, stabbing, carving, and sexual acts. There is no question that what the defendant did deserves the death penalty. The judge sealing Miller's fate, sentencing him to the death penalty twice. That was Nicole Garcia reporting. Miller is appealing his sentence because under Arizona law, death penalty cases are autom automatically subject to an appeal.